and hello everyone welcome to this week's video tutorial uh, this will be the fifth part in chapter 7 of Grandmaster Hu Ronghua's Sandwich Horse Treaties yeah. here we go central cannon pale corner cannon the rank chariot variation and black could develop his left chariot as the power chariot in this variation and we will develop both horses as proper horses a prophylactic move and red would advance his seven pawn so this would be the position of discussion uh, that we will be going over through in this board uh, in the previous board um, red would place c8 equals to knight immediately before pushing his um, pawn forward so uh, as could be seen in the previous video two weeks ago uh, black will be able to obtain a very favorable position going to mid game if he were to play correctly now in this board red will push the pawn forward and set the pawn forward early in the game so that it would allow for development of the left horse now there were two major variations for black that we discussed in the book. The first variation would be P7 plus 1, whereby black would counter with, by pushing uh, one of the pawns on the third and seventh rank of its own. The other one would be C8, C8 plus 4. Ah, sorry, R8 plus 4. Okay. And in the first variation, after pushing uh, P7 plus 1, in the book, Red will play C8 equals to 9 to allow for development of the left chariot as a foul chariot. Now, uh, at this point in time, this would be the position for the discussion of the first sub variation uh, for the first variation in the, in the book. Now, um, Black would be advocated to play, it would be advocated for Black to play C2 plus 2 so that. Black would be able to play C2 equals to 6 on the next move and counter the uh, effects of the rank chariot. Now, uh, one might wonder would uh, consolidate, consolidating the defense at this point in time with E3 plus 5 be favorable? The answer would not would be no. As given in the book, a red will start to attack in this manner. And because e3 plus 5 and a4 plus 5 were played, black's left uh, right flank would be another empty and vulnerable. Black would be forced to make this move. It would not be a good idea to try to sacrifice the pawn. Because black could consider trading material at this point in time. And as can be seen, although um, as, as can be seen, although Red had already used one, uh, traded his one of his chariots so early in the game, uh, Black's defense will be very vulnerable. Red could be a, could attack the central pawn. Uh, the horse would be very fast in attack, and the Black chariot would not be able to get further development and be vulnerable to attacks by either cannon with, uh, by moving to the palace corner. So, P3 plus 1 would not be a good idea, and that is why it is advocated that Black would have moved his cannon to safety. And as the as Black's pearl corner cannon was the key piece in its entire defense, uh, Red would try to trade it away. Uh, R4 minus minus 2 was given in the book. And at this point in time, Red would have a significant advantage. So that is why consolidating the defense so early in the game is not advocated. And instead of e3 plus 5, Black would be better off with c2 plus 2, threatening to play c2 equals to 6 on the next move. And this would force Black to advance his chariot. 
then Black would develop his horse from the external rib farm. And this was the last move given the first variation. So, as can be seen, uh, Black's defense would now be well set up, the horse would have crossed the river, and there would be some pressure on Red's right flank. And uh, Red would not be doing too badly to as well, and as both of his chariots were now developed. So, this would be considered to be a rather even situation at this point in time. So, to a short summary, a short recap, uh, P7 plus 1 was the uh, position that was studied in this plot, and in the first variation, P7, uh, Black will counter with the P7 plus 1 of his own. In the second variation, which is slightly more complex, Black will choose to play R8 plus 4 to develop his chariot uh, as a counter to P7 plus 1, and this will discourage the red horse from moving to the riverbank so early. Now, if R8 plus 4 were played, red would still continue with um, H7 plus 6. And if so, black would play R8 equals to 4. Red would. And there were two sub variations. The first one would be R8 equals to 4. The second would be P3 plus 1. Uh, we shall inspect the R8 plus 4 sub variation first. Okay, so after R8 plus 4, Red would protect the horse with C8 equals to 2 and prepare for C5 equals to 6. Red would, uh, Black would try to trade material. And Uh, red should not capture the black cannon with R8 plus 2 at this point or black could play H2 plus 4 to threaten to go for the elbow horse checkmate and black would be aggressive, would be the aggressor in, in, instead so this would be uh, black trading his chariot for two of red pieces and it would still be uh, an even situation material wise but black would have the positional advantage and also the extra point across the river so black would be, would be deemed as having the advantage at this point in time. So the correct move would be R8 minus R8 1 to capture the horse. And it, this would be a rather uh, even situation. So a short recap. In the second variation, R8 plus 4 was played. Red would, con would try his luck with H7 plus 6. And R8 equals to 4 was studied in the first sub variation. Now, and protection. Now, this was a complex situation uh, which I forgot to mention. Uh, at this point in time, red was uh, played R4 plus 4 in the game. Uh, but could red play C2? <coughs> uh, sorry, C8 equals to 1. No, because black would play e3 plus 1 and the red cannon would be in trouble as black would be prepared to play p3 equals to 2 to capture the cannon. Now, neither can uh, red play retreat his horse, h6 equals to 7, as black will as red will lose his cannon as a result. So, either way, uh, black will still be able to hold his own against red's aggression. Hence, R4 plus 4 will be the best move at this point in time, uh, which will result in this eventual situation, which uh, Black can be very satisfied with. Another, uh, instead of I equals to 4, uh, P3 plus 1 was also studied, and this would be perhaps the most complicated subvariation in this uh, bot. After P3 plus 1, Black would trade would offer to trade chariots to gain some momentum and gain some tempo but um, black would not be willing to do so and at this point in time the correct move or the suggested move 
to make would be r1 equals to 3 to protect the uh, horse it would be a very key move for, for black survival it would not be a good idea at this point in time to try to capture the red horse because black would simply capture the central pawn and red would have a significant pawn advantage whereby there were five red pawns and only three black pawns left so red would have a significant advantage going to the mid game for the later phases of the game so i8 plus 1 would not be advocated and it would be more important to protect the horse in this manner and uh, black would be better with attacking the black horse with c8 equals to treven to pile some pressure because red would not be prepared to move the chariot away for, for skewer now what would happen if red continued to capture the central pawn? Trading material and although black, red would have more pawns his left chariot was still undeveloped and black would have developed his uh, left chariot and the pawn and the, chari the black chariot was already developed and ready to go so uh, it will be considered to be a rather even situation which black can be very satisfied with hence kept trading the uh, using the horse to capture this black central pawn would not be advocated so after protecting the horse would it be viable or feasible for black to play r8 plus 1 this would be a very important uh, order of the moves so, no trade material, and black will still have a playable game at this point in time. So, this will be the second sub variation, whereby instead of playing R equals to 4, black will choose to trade pawns with P3 plus 1, uh, and this will result in a favorable situation for black going to the mid game. So, a short recap. Yeah, in this board, P7 plus 1 was the main uh, topic of discussion. And there were two major variations. The first major first variation would be P7 plus 1, and the second would be R8 plus 4. In P7 plus 1, um, we will continue with C8 equals to 9 for the 5-9 cannons, and be prepared to protect the develop his left chariot. Then we'll continue with C2 equals to <coughs> C2 plus 2 and it will be an even situation going to the mid game. In the second variation, black would play R8 plus 4. And there were two sub variations as red would charge his uh, horse to the river back. Now, after H7 plus 6, there are two sub variations. One will be R equals to 4, the other one will be P3 plus 1. In the R equals to 4 sub variation, uh, Black would use his chariot to trade for two of red's pieces and acquire a cross river, pot, uh, cross river bank pawn. Uh, it will still be a playable situation for Black, and Black which Black can be satisfied with. In the second sub uh, Black will still be able to hold his own against Red's aggressions. So, uh, this will be a very playable situation or playable variation for Black. And I hope you have enjoyed this video. And uh, just just in case you were wondering, uh, I decided to put Red at the bottom of the page for this video, uh, just for a change of scenery. And thank you for your viewership. Uh, it has been a long holiday for me, uh, but we are still worried about the coronavirus situation in China. And I hope all will be well and stay healthy in the new in the new year. So, thank you for your viewership again, and I hope all the best to you.